Every once in a while, Primetime likes to conduct welfare checks on other networks because we care. And we're a little worried about Joy Reid, our dear, dear friend. The United States has a population of north of 327 million people. Why do we need more kids? I mean, your party, Senator Tuberville, is the one screaming that 10 million immigrants, which I don't even know that that number even makes any sense because it doesn't, um, have streamed into the country since Joe Biden has been president. There was a time when the state of Alabama absolutely needed more kids because, you know, Alabama was a slave state. And the mandate of the planter class in Alabama was for black women to produce more kids because those kids were property. Are you saying the we is white folks need more kids? Is this like a great replacement thing where you're concerned that there's not enough white people in the population versus the growth of the Latino population, the black population, and the Asian American population. And so the we is white people need to make white women have more kids. Oh, and your dominionist Supreme Court and their seven mountains dominionist belief system. That is the precursor to the handmaid's tale. Why does America need more kids? Well, a country with a low birth rate is a failing country. You need young generations to consume, pay taxes, and support older people. Look at Japan. Their population is so old, their prime minister is worried the country won't continue to function as a society. Children, as they say, are the future. I'd think you'd know that, Joy, since you're a mom of three, after all. Host of Sunny's Corner on Sirius XM, Sunny Johnson joins us now. Sunny, what is she talking about? How many times did you listen to it before you gave up trying to figure that out? <laughs> don't, don't ask me to stretch my brain to um, understand the incomprehensible. I think she's saying it's racist to want a secure border or it's racist to want to have bigger families. And in that, what I will say is continue to let them talk, because all they're doing is destroying themselves. They are the reason that black people are fleeing from the Democrat Party. So I would just say continue to let them speak, and we can take a little bit of Dr. Phil's advice. And <laughs> instead of uh, focusing our conversations around them and fighting with them and who's going to win, we actually start focusing our conversations around solutions. So I think that was good advice coming from Dr. Phil. All right, Phil. so ignore Joy. Don't do any more welfare checks. She's obviously long gone and focus on results. Is that your advice? Or at least don't ask me to waste brain cells on joy. If you got somebody <laughs> else who want to do that, be my guest. But please don't ask me. We have a, a, a short run until November 2024 and the election. And I think that every brain cell I have needs to be focused on that fight and not Joy <laughs> Reid. All right. I'll tell my booker no more Joy Reid segments for Sonny. Thank you so much, Sonny. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.